Hi everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with polishes I forgot I own 31. Um, yeah, we did 30 videos um, and I wasn't sure how many more of these I'm going to do. I'm still not sure. I will continue to do them as I have polishes to show you. So we've still got another five today. I have tried to go a little bit more mainstream. So we've got three mainstreams, two indies of old, forgotten, underloved, needed re-swatching polishes. So let's look through these five for today's video. Mainstreams first. One I recently showed in my top purples of life and this is Tomorrow Never Dies by OPI. Um, I knew I needed to, to wear it, I didn't realise how much I didn't enjoy my swatch that was in that video, so I thought I'd bring it out, re-swatch it, I did an Instagram reel with it and everyone just so, concurred and agreed with how much we all love this polish. It's just so glowy and opaque and this beautiful rich royal purple colour and yeah it's an icon that whole collection is so good um it came out in the james bond skyfall collection um, and i love tomorrow never dies so happy to get that out and get that a rewear and an updated swatch photo so that was just two coats tomorrow never dies opi then i realized i hadn't really been through a lot of my essays that needed re-swatches not for many many videos ago so i went through again the photos that i had on my laptop to see which ones were a bit scary and um amateur looking the swatches and I picked up chills and thrills and this definitely needed a rewear. I love this polish. I feel like I've worn it a quite a bit but maybe I've only ever taken the initial swatch photo. I love the tone of the kind of indigo blur pull. I think it's really good. My one has got, I think it's got the thin brush, yeah. So it's got a thinner brush to it and I feel like that messes with the application. All of the Essies perform so much better with a wider brush. So this was a two-coater, but I feel like if you had a nice wide brush, you possibly even could make it opaque in one. Just a beautiful, easy cream formula. So that's two coats of Chills and Thrills by Essie. And the final mainstream in the video today is going to be Verushka by uh, Zoya. Now, when I very first started collecting polish, which is like 10 years ago now, Verushka and Posh, Posh will be coming up in a future video, were iconic shades. There were these matte drying, as you can see from the cap and the matte bottle, matte drying polishes. And they are just a really, really beautiful shade, both of them. The green is Verushka and this is this emerald kind of colour. I have worn it with top coat and just leaving it dry matte and it is gorgeous. It's a nice, easy two coater. And I think the reason why these were just so great and they still are great, but back then everyone went crazy over them just because it didn't really exist. Matte polishes weren't as often as they are today. And I think even now, whenever a, a, like a creamy cut collection comes out with one odd matte in it, I feel like China Guys does that the most often out of all the brands. Everyone loves the matte version. So this is a nice, easy two coat. Like I say, no top coat, or you can matte top coat it again, or glossy if you want. Verushka by Zoya. Now in May, it was May the 4th, so I pulled out one of the Dollish Polish Star Wars ones that I had to rewear, and this is these droids, up. these are not the droids you are looking for, and it's meant to be a C-3PO and R2-D2 combo, so it's a lot of gold, so it's a clear base with a ton of gold holographic glitters, and then you also have a few blue and a few silver, so it's like this hybrid mash of C-3PO and uh, R2-D2 all in one. So I thought, when I was going through what ones am I going to wear this month for this video, I knew that we should wear a Star Wars one for May the 4th. My son is a huge Star Wars fan at the moment, we went to a May the 4th event, um, so yeah. It was very fitting and that's three coats to get you a really nice chunky glitter mix and it's going to dry textures because it's just so glitter dense. So uh, these are not the droids that you are looking for and that is three coats. Dollish polish. And the last one we have this month is also another glitter bomb and this is Native War Paints RBF which I believe is Resting Bitch Face. Um, and this was the another one from that collaboration that Jess from Jess Face 90 did with them years ago. Like honestly like eight years ago she did this collection with them before 90 started. And I have the whole thing because I do everything and support everything that Jess does. Um, and this is just a really nice rose gold holographic. So it's a clip up clear or is it let me have a little look there's a little bit of a pinky base no it's a clear base and then there's just a ton of these pink oh my goodness i need to probably clean this off a little bit it's all crispy around the rim there there's just tons of different shapes and varieties of this kind of pink holographic glitter in there. Like the one we just mentioned, it's going to take three, it's going to dry textured, but it's worth it. Maybe even just for maybe like an accent nail, I think. I don't tend to wear these sorts of glitters really heavily on like as a full manicure at the moment. Times change, I'm just not in that vibe right this second. However, I think this would look really lovely. It's like one accent nail if 
you want it to be a little bit like a cream and then have one glittery now it's a bit being, being a bit fancy um so rbf native war paints three coats so another video over of polishes i forgot i own let me know some of your golden oldies down below do any of you own any of these because um, last time a few people commented that they had some of the ones that I had shown in the last month's video. So let me know if you have any of these or what other old and favourites that you have. I'm also trying to do on my Instagram reels at the moment, do re-swatches of older polishes. So if there's any older polishes that you would like to see swatched, like a live swatch, I'm happy to do them for Instagram reels. I've been really enjoying that. Dabble into live swatches or like video swatches because it's just something I've never done um so leave me all your thoughts and comments give me a thumbs up subscribe and I will see you soon